Regarding as you are related with investments directly, my question is very much related. That is, how can I assess the potential return of my investment <coughs> regarding in investment in tourism projects? Thank you very much for your nice question. You know, the tourism industry is an invisible, you know, you don't see it, but it is a the biggest industry presently in this world. If you think of Saudi Arabia, or if you think of America, or if you think of any other country, you know, they are putting much more stretch in the tourism industry. They know it has got a definitely and positive return. I must thank our Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Whatever she has done, you know, that what we were lacking, that is the infrastructure. Now the infrastructure that she has made and she is making in future, and that is a big sign that our country will definitely hit, the tourism will be number one in the next five or ten years, beating the garments industry. You know, whenever I used to give speech ten years back, I always used to say infrastructure, infrastructure. Now, you see, if you can go to Chittagong in four hours, you can, after a few days, you can go to Oxbazar by rail and you can come back. And then the roads are also constructed. And Sillet Road are constructing. All this, uh, so many highways are there. So something is coming. And about this tourism investment, you know, Bangladesh, definitely there will be a lot of new investment. You see, never Taj thought of coming to Bangladesh. Taj group, you know, the Taj group is the biggest group in India. They have hotels all over the world. Now the Taj group is also planning to have a hotel in Dhaka already signed and they are talking about putting up a hotel in Guakata and they are also talking about putting up a hotel in Coxabuta. That Mr. Nurali, you know Mr. Nurali who is the owner of the Westin. So he is working on it. So big investments are coming. And why it is coming? Because of the transportation. You know our Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, she is making a wonderful, beautiful Coxabuta airport. This is a dream. People will come to see it. The plane is going to land on the sea. So this is something unique. And about the investment, even a lot of people think the tourism investment or hotel investment is not like importing goods and selling it. It is different thing. You know, today is 2023. I make a hotel. Costing will be the hotel will be 100 crore taka. And to cover up that 100 crore taka, I need minimum 10 years. It's not that in five years you get a return, but in 10 years, I have invested in the hotel 100 crore taka. The project cost will be 300 crore. So on that basis, nobody is calculating how the return will be. So this is very important. In front of me, Mr. Kabiri is sitting. He has made a very big resort, you know. And he, he was just telling me before he came here, when I came in that I made it, I know, he made a nice resort. You think how much money you spend it and how much is the cost now. Maybe you haven't made any money in business. But in property-wise, you are making a hell of a lot of money. So, the tourism investment is a very good investment and I will sh I'll, I'll be welcoming. There are some foreign delegates who are here and our Honorable Secretary already said is this is the best place for now, the best place is Bangladesh to invest. And definitely you will have a positive, positive return. This is all about it. Thank you very much for giving me a chance to say about the investment. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, 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 thank you your specific words. I again come to our Honorable Secretary. Sir, regarding, regarding secondary economy, tax holiday are there for ready-made garments. When we going to establish a tourism property, say at Sapra, as because it is the specific, specialized economic zone, do you have any plans, sir, uh, to uh, encourage uh, uh, industries? Actually, uh, Sabrang is designed uh, for tourism development exclusively for foreign tourists, mainly for the foreign tourism, tourists. Because uh, we are lacking, so we have developed our uh, local uh, tourism, domestic tourism, uh, it is uh, in a satisfactory level. Although we cannot uh, give proper uh, services, there are some challenges also. But Sabrang is a property of Bangladesh Economic Zone Authority. Uh, on, with, with this property, there are, there would be some facilities, uh, there would be some, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the, uh, opportunities for the private sector as well as FDI. And those uh, areas, especially we don't have exclusive tourist zone for the foreigners, 
So there are some places we are planning as Sapran as well as Shonadia and the ecotourism park in Tekna, Tekna ecotourism park. So there uh, will be some uh, sort of uh, extra facilities to uh, flourish these shows for the foreign tourists and the private sector will definitely have some incentives from those areas. Uh, so we need uh, a specialized zone for foreigners because we have to attract foreign tourists. tourists although we have uh, flourished in domestic tourism, but still we are lacking uh, inbound tourism. So uh, these are the uh, incentives we are planning to uh, uh, offer for the uh, for our private sector as well as for foreign private investors. So therefore, uh, like our garment sector, they um, must have some opportunities to attract our foreign uh, uh, foreign uh, tourism uh, foreign tourists uh, to come to Bangladesh. Thank you. Thank you. Th thank you, sir. Um, may I go to Tofik Raman, sir? Uh, can you, sir, please? Uh,